hello everyone in this uh, lecture video i will demonstrate how to use excel solver to solve an optimization problem so here we have uh, given a case uh, so this i'm going to read this case for you cv fitness makes three fitness machines exercise bikes elliptical cross trainers and treadmills when packaged for shipment, their shipping volumes are 12, 15, and 22 cubic feet, respectively. The finished machines are shipped via ground transportation to five stores in Philadelphia, Atlanta, Miami, Chicago, and Los Angeles. Uh, available vehicle fleet consists of 12 trucks and six tractor trailers. Each truck has a capacity of 15 cubic feet, and each tractor trailer has a capacity of 2350 cubic feet the spreadsheet title uh, skeleton worksheet that you see here uh, includes the road distance from your plant which is in memphis to each of the stores along with each store's demand for the three fitness machines the data represents one week of shipments for cv fitness so here is what we need to find what is the best mix of trucks and tractor trailers to send to each destination that will minimize shipping costs per shipment okay and these are the constraints given uh, all trucks and tractor trailers must be integer greater than or equal to zero that makes sense we cannot have negative trucks or tractor trailers the sum of trucks and the tractor trailers assigned must be less than or equal to the available trucks and tractor uh, trailers which are 12 and 6 respectively the total vehicle capacity for the vehicle assigned to each store must be greater than or equal to the volume required to be shipped to each store so we're gonna take this first part of the case and solve it and then these two things here you see one and two these are your homework assignments so you had to uh, work through it and you know uh, s save it as a different file so this is one excel file once i'm done with solving this one what you would like to do is you know save it as another file and solve this one and then save it another file and solve this one so in all you will be submitting three excel files with this submission so i'm going to do the first one here for you uh, i mean this one and then extensions one and two you have to do it at home uh, as a homework so this is a skeleton worksheet given here so here we have given all the data uh, we have uh, truck and tractor trailer their respective volumes 15, 1500 and 2350 and how much is the operating cost per mile and the available fleet which is we, which means that we have 12 trucks and six tractor trailer and then uh, the volume required in cubic feet for each type of product so exercise bike needs 12 cubic feet uh, elliptical tra cross trainer needs 15 cubic feet of space and trade mill uh, needs 22 cubic feet of uh, space in the truck or the tractor trailer whichever uh, whichever vehicle uh, will be used to ship the product so that's the data given here uh, these are the constants uh, they're not going to change they're going to stay as it is and then here the calculation in the results section so here uh, we have been given the store demand so these are the store five stores uh, distance uh, from the Memphis plants to each of these stores are given how many uh, miles are there from the Memphis plant and for each store uh, the demand is given for each type of bike so elliptical uh, exercise bike elliptical cross trainer and trade mill so their demands are given here so with this information what we have to do is we have to find a mix of tractor trailer and the truck that we would use to to you know uh, ship all the uh, different three types of products to each store uh, and the objective function here which is blue is to minimize the shipping cost so we have to make sure that we 
minimize the shipping cost so so the question here to ask here is you know probably you're going to use uh, should you use 10 truck and six tractor trailer or should you use 12 truck or four tractor trailer which mix going to give you the best answer we don't know yet so what we're going to do is we're going to formulate it as a minimization optimization problem and uh, seek the help of the solver to solve this one optimally and we're going to see that how that happens so here uh, there are certain constraints we need to fulfill uh, volume required uh, for each store you know must be less than equal to the volume that that's going to be available in the truck and the tractor trailer so that's going to be total vehicle capacity here so i'm going to start here i'm going to calculate the volume required for uh, each store to fulfill the given demand so that should be uh, equals to uh, so we're gonna ship uh, this many products of this many exercise bikes and each exercise bike is gonna take 12 cubic feet and I'm gonna fix this cell because I want to copy the formula down that means uh, this cell value will not change as I copy the formula down Likewise, I'm going to do it for each type of uh, product here. So elliptical cross trainer, I'm going to say uh, demand is 96 times each one takes 15 cubic feet of space. I'm going to fix this one as well. Plus uh, trade mill 86 is the demand times each one takes 22 cubic feet of space. I'm going to fix that one okay so once you put in this formula i'm gonna enter here and i'm gonna drag it down when you copy it down you will notice that you now if i go to function uh, f2 so you're gonna see that these values are changing but c8 c9 and c10 they are not because we put a dollar symbol there so that's that's uh, that's something you have to keep in mind that dollar symbol allows us to fix the cell value and it won't change when you drag the formula down okay so that's one thing and let's say to begin with we're going to use let's say one truck for everything okay and let's say we're going to use one tractor trailer for every shipment here okay so let's calculate the volume for the truck so this is going to be one times uh, each truck has a volume of 1500 cubic feet i'm gonna fix this one function f4 or if you have windows uh, keyboard you can just press f4 that should work this is mac so i i have to press function f4 here so i'm gonna hit enter here and i'm gonna copy it down likewise here what i'm gonna do here each tractor trailer i'm gonna take this one times 2350 function f4 fix that one and i'm going to copy it down here and we need uh, the total for the number of trucks you use for this entire shipment here i'm going to use some function and you can always you know select the entire cells here hit enter likewise here i'm going to say give me some of all these cells five here so uh, total vehicle capacity is going to be simply this plus this this is a total capacity available and vehicle capacity utilize uh, how much of the capacity available we have utilized which is going to take the volume required divided by volume available okay so that's going to give us a uh, capacity now this is 130 person obviously it's not possible uh, that is one of the constraint so the volume required should be less than equal to the volume available so we're gonna put that constraint here okay that's something you have to keep in mind okay now let's calculate the shipping cost here so shipping cost uh, depends on the number of trucks we are using the number of miles we are driving as well as the tractor trailers we are using and the miles we are driving so i'm going to say here this times this many miles we are driving here times uh, each mile is going to cost us one dollar so i'm going to say function f4 
I'm gonna fix that plus I'm gonna say same thing for the tractor trailer so C six times the cost is going to be one dollar thirty cents I'm gonna fix that one okay so I'm gonna copy this two formula down here so make sure you bring the cursor here drag it down and here we're gonna say total sum of shipping cost okay so uh, what we have to do is uh, we have to satisfy all the constraints uh, so total number of trucks used should be less than or equal to 12 Total number of tractor trailers you should be less than or equal to six okay and now we can do a lot of trial and error I've been working with this a lot so let's say this is the best solution I can come up with let's say num two number of trucks here one here two here three here and four here so in total we have the 12 trucks and tractor trailer we're gonna use one here one here let's say I'm not gonna use any here and one here and one here okay so uh, this is the best combination you can get that's gonna satisfy all the constraints so uh, percent of vehicle capacity utilized has to be less than equal to 100 percent so in other words the volume requ required should be less than equal to the volume available okay capacity available so we are satisfying every constraint here so this is 12 it is equal to 12 4 is less than equal to 6 that's we are satisfying we are satisfying the volume constraint every truck is an integer and non zero uh, non negative number so and you know keying in this uh, numbers gives us 18122 as a shipping cost so this this might look like an optimal solution but we don't know yet uh, trial and error is trial and error you can try many different combination probably there could be some other combination which can further reduce the cost we don't know and for that what we're gonna do is we're gonna use Excel solver so uh, in the Excel solver we have to kind of mention the changing cell values so these are the values that are gonna be changing and we have to minimize the objective function value which is the shipping cost so we have to minimize the shipping cost by changing the combination of number of trucks and number of tractor trailer so that's something we have to do here okay and uh, so let's I'm gonna get started with the the Excel solver if you don't have it available you're gonna go to files options add-ins and make sure you select analysis tool pack VBA click on go here make sure these three items are selected and say okay here and once you do that if you go to the data here you should see the data analysis and the solver okay so solver is what we are interested in right now so I'm gonna go to the solver here I'm gonna set the objective function so I want to set the objective function I want to minimize my shipping costs so I'm gonna put click on that one is gonna show it here and I want to change my let's say this trucks and then I'm gonna press the control key and select this one as well so make sure you understand this thing so it's selecting uh, H16 to H20 comma J16 to J20 okay so we're gonna change the values here and our objective is to minimize the shipping cost here and we're gonna add all the constraints now so first constraint is obviously the volume constraint so this set of volumes here should be less than equals to the total capacity here so I'm sorry so let's want to do it here I'm going to go here constraints and I'm going to select this one so all the values here should be less than equal to corresponding values here in this cell so it's one to one so this volume has to be less than equal to this one this volume has to be less than equal to this one this volume has to be less than equal to this one and henceforth okay so that's the first constraint we added so I'm going to go ahead and add more constraint I'm going to say add here I'm gonna say uh, this number of trucks should be greater than equal to zero 
that means they should be non-negative okay i'm gonna click on add i'm gonna say again this truck so number of trucks should be an integer okay it cannot be a fraction i'm gonna add this one i'm gonna say total number of trucks needed should be less than equal to the available fleet for the truck uh, sorry for that i'm gonna say total truck here should be less than equal to the fleet available here likewise i'm gonna add this one tractor trailer should be less than equal to the available fleet for the tractor tra trailer here okay so i guess i added all the constraint let me cross check here okay i need to add these two for the g as well i'm gonna say uh this should be greater than or equal to zero and this should be integer it cannot be fraction okay so we have added all the constraints here okay let me let me cross check before i go too further here okay so it looks like we have all the constraints here i believe in, okay and i'm gonna go to the option here uh solving limit so it's gonna try for 100 seconds now depending on how complicated the problem is it could take more than 100 seconds or it could be done in few seconds and here are the number of iteration it's gonna go through to solve this problems and here solving with integer constraints so i'm gonna say integer optimality not within five percent but i want the the absolute solution here so i'm gonna say zero here okay i'm gonna say okay here and simplex lp is uh, selected and i'm gonna cross my finger and hit on solve remember the cost right now by trial and error the best i could get was eighteen thousand one hundred and twenty two can we beat this number can we make it lower than this one we are seeking the help of the solver for that so i'm gonna click on solve here solver has done his work and it has found a solution which is a great news so we want to keep this solution here okay but this is not what i was expecting here so looks like i might have missed one constraint here okay i'm gonna go back and cancel this one i'm going to solve it here let's see. oh it's not maximizing it's minimizing i'm sorry for that we have to minimize that number here so that was a mistake i made and rest of all the things are same here okay and now i'm pretty sure it's gonna work yes it has worked and it found me a solution this is the better solution than last time if you remember and you know i'm gonna keep this one i'm gonna click on the answer report i want this one i'm gonna say okay here so it will generate answer report here for you and here is you it's going to give you the optimal cell value the original was you know with my trial and error it was eighteen thousand one twenty two. an excel solver kind of find a better solution seventeen thousand three hundred and ninety eight and uh it found the okay so uh, sometimes this misbehaves here so i'm gonna close the gap here okay i don't know why this is doing that maybe i can make it a little longer here all right
Okay, so I narrow it down because it was too wide now. Now it looks better, right? So uh, these first are the trucks here. So it tells me the original value, uh, trial and error, and my final values. Okay, uh, for the tractor uh, trailer here, my original values and the final value that solver found here. Okay, and uh, here it gives us details about the constraint, what constraint we are satisfying and what not. So here, let's say function, I'm gonna again delete all those things here to make it better looking. Okay, so, Okay. So it kind of give you uh you can so this one kind of gives us the volume constraints I'm gonna just highlight them okay and this one tells us how many uh, trucks and tractor trailers we are using so I'm gonna color that one and this basically tells me whether they are integer values or greater than zero okay uh so these are all greater than zero here uh, which was binding constraint and they're all integers so these are the constraints now you need to understand what is a binding constraint and what is not binding if the constraint is not binding you will have a value for the slack now what does that mean it means that we have a slack of three trucks that means out of 12 trucks we have only used uh, nine and then those values can be found here so if you sum up this values here two three four five six seven eight and nine so those are the nine trucks and here also you can see we have only used nine trucks so we have a available slack of three so we have unused capacity of three here and that's what this means here but uh, when it comes to tractor trailer we do not have any slack that means we have used up all the resources and it's binding which means that if you change the capacity here, um, increase or decrease, it will change the objective function solution. But this one, if you reduce it to nine, it's not gonna change the optimal solution because we have a slack of three here. Or if you can increase like to 12, 13, 14 or anything, it's not gonna change the objective function solution because we only need nine trucks here. But here we are bounded by this solution. So if you change the number here, it might change or it will change the objective function whether you increase or decrease. So those are binding constraint. Okay. So this 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 uh, does not make a lot of sense here. Like they are all saying that they are non-zero. Uh, I mean greater than or equal to zero constraint, which is the needed one, and they are all integer. So uh, so this is how you would go through this thing here. Here also I'm gonna say, okay, so I'm just gonna format this one. And this ones are for the, let's say, trucks and these are for the tractor trailer. Okay, just highlighting, uh, making it more visible here, okay. So uh, if you see here, how much is the difference here? I'm gonna say, okay, equal uh, this minus this, okay? Okay, so we we are, if, if you use the trial and error, we could have paid more in the shipment. In other, other words, 
uh, by using solver we are saving almost $724 per shipment per week because this data here is uh, per shipment uh, per week and yes the gear here the data represents one week of shipments for CV fitness here so uh, if you uh, if you see this one you know so every week demand might change this is the weekly demand okay so every week the demand might change and every week you will come here and run the optimal solution and probably you'll get somewhere around uh, the this answer so on an average even if you save $724 per week and let's say you have uh, 50 weeks you, you'll you know I'm gonna say here weeks here and savings here. Let's see fifty here. So total <coughs> savings is going to be <coughs> So it can result saving as much as 36,200 in the span of 50 weeks. So although this number looks small, but you know, if you um, aggregate it over many weeks, it's gonna, you're gonna see a lot of savings. That's something you have to keep in mind. So uh, you would write your recommendations. So you're gonna start writing the recommendation here, telling me, you know, how many of the total number of trucks they have used how many other tractor trailers they have used, how much was of those available, uh, how much is the, you know, uh, this capacity here, capacity utilization. Uh, I guess here you have to find the average. So I'm gonna say average of all this one. Okay, so on an average, we are using 93% of the vehicle capacity we are utilizing. So it's pretty good, uh, but still there there is like 7% unused capacity, which you need to put in your recommendations here. Okay, so uh, that's something you have to keep in mind here. I'm just going to check one thing before I'm going to let you know. Um, okay, here I guess, uh, yeah, I guess that should be it here. I guess uh, another way to calculate this one is, you know, you can sum this one up here and sum, sum this one here and sum this one here and divide that thing. So it's gonna give you the same thing there as well. So here, for example, we can do, there are many ways to do it, okay? So I'm just telling you as many ways as I can. So this is the sum here, total capacity available is gonna be sum of, this here and obviously if you divide uh, these two number you'll get the same answer 93 percent okay that's another way to look at it okay so uh, So this is how you would do it. Uh, so here you're gonna put all your conclusions or suggestions.
Or I would just say recommend uh, suggestions or recommendations. Yeah, that's it. And you're gonna write down all the findings here. As I said, how many trucks you're using, how many tractor trailers you're using, how many of those are available, what is the total utilization uh, of the vehicle capacity, and how much is the shipping cost. And compared to uh, trial and error method, how much we are saving, okay? And over the week of 50 weeks, how much will that be? So this is gonna be one uh, Excel file. Now you have to extend this one and include two more stores. So you're gonna include two more stores. Basically what you're gonna do is, you're gonna save this, like I'm gonna say save as another file. So I'm gonna, so let's say, uh, here I'm gonna save it as, a, this was copy, so it's gonna be copy one. You can name it any way, anything you want. Okay, so this is another copy here. And uh, what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna go ahead and add these two stores in here. Okay, and accordingly I'll adjust all the cell values and my solver constraint. Uh, it's gonna be not that much difficult here to just add two stores and follow along, okay. So, and then uh, when you add two stores, you have to keep in mind that uh, this truck or tractor trailer capacity might not be enough, okay? You have to keep that in mind because, uh, because you're adding two more stores. You know? So their capacity is gonna be somewhat, um, uh, you know, somewhat capacity will be needed and probably you do not have enough fleet available. So what you have to do is when you try to solve it, um, for it, the for example, if you just uh, let's say make it five here, okay, and then you go and here make it three here, okay. So and then you go to the uh, data here and try to solve. Okay, I'm gonna say solve. So it's gonna say solver could not find a feasible solution. Uh, solver cannot find a point for which all constraints are satisfied. So that means we do not have enough capacity. Okay. So I'm gonna go back this to 12 and six, okay? So I guess 17, 30, 98 was the answer, okay? So likewise, when you add two stores, this might not be enough, then you have to make a choice whether you want to increase the truck by one or increase the tractor trailer by one, okay? And I would say, you know, try both and see which one gives you lower uh, shipping cost and compare it with this one, okay? And you're gonna save it as an answer report and put your conclusions and suggestions as well. Then you're gonna save this one again as, I'm gonna say save as again, uh, number two here. And then you're gonna do uh, the second one here. So all you have to do here is, you know, after you have added these two stores, this two stores gonna be there for this one. And then you're gonna decrease the cubic feet capacity of the trade mill from 22 to 17 here, okay? And then you're gonna solve it and see how much you are saving per shipment, okay? Because it asks you, uh, your engineers report that the re redesign will cost approximately $10,000. If you can save at least 500 per shipment, the project will pay itself off in less than six months or 20 weeks shipment. So whatever savings you're gonna have, let's say you have 500 savings uh, on a weekly uh, shipment. So 500 times 20 is gonna be like 10,000. So you're gonna break even. Um, so or probably you can have more than uh, 1,000 savings per shipment, we don't know. And that's what you have to find out here and put your thoughts into conclusion. So this is how you would solve uh, this uh, homework assignment. Uh, if you, uh, with this, with this, I'm gonna stop my lecture video here. Thank you very much for listening.